And Mr. Speaker, I rise today because my home state of Michigan and our entire country is at a crossroads. This coming Friday, the auto, the auto, the union auto workers is likely going to strike. Nearly 15, nearly 150,000, excuse me, will stop working, leaving General Motors, Stellantis, and Ford without anyone to build the cars that drive our economy forward. If you ask President Biden, he'll say, it's no big deal, and the strike's not going to happen. Well, let me tell you, Mr. President, guess again. The strike is real, and the dawn is coming tomorrow. While I don't always agree with big labor and their strategies, I can see why they're angry. They've watched as their companies have sold out to the radical Green New Deal agenda and have placed EVs ahead of their employees. Yes, I want to say that. These companies have placed EVs in, ahead of their employees. For those that don't know, it's simple. EVs take less parts. Less parts means less workers, and less workers hurts our economy. And make no mistake about it, this is happening because of Joe Biden's EV mandates and his reckless agenda to rid the world of reliable, reliable engines. It's not, it's not a sustainable plan, but Biden seems not to care. And some automakers are just going along to get along with Biden. Because even when their profits decrease due to EVs, they have doubled down on their plan at the expense of men and women who build our cars. I want to be clear about something. I'm not against EVs, but I am against mandates. And I am against abandoning things that actually work. Gas-powered engines work, and they work well. EVs barely work, and they're unreliable, which is something Secretary Granholm knows very well. The gentlelady's right? time has expired. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back. Yes,